Well, hello, welcome back to Fitness Friday with Johnny Tiger. The date is February 24th, yeah, 24th, uh, 2023. I am a little bit confused about the date sometimes when I've been doing a lot of stuff. Um, anyway, maybe that's just part of getting old. And yeah, definitely getting old. Just look at this dad bod I'm starting to, to develop. Anyway, um, so yesterday I trained a student who uh, asked me today how to stretch out the quad muscles. So I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity to do this video because honestly, I only knew two stretches uh, for the quad muscles. So I had to quickly hop onto the internet and do some quick research and try things out myself to find a few more options. So I pared it down to five simple quad stretches uh, that you can do. Well, I say simple. There's a couple of these that might not be as simple as they sound, depending on how flexible you are. Even for me, there's one of them that you'll see later that is very difficult, even for me. Uh, so, depending on your flexibility level, your comfort level, you don't need to do all five of these, right? Like, these are just five options. You can pick two or three, the ones that are easy to do, and then you can do them. You don't need to do all five. For those of you who are not up to date on the muscle group, the quad is the front, the front of the upper thigh, okay, this part where sometimes when you've been doing a lot of squats and a lot of jump squats and a lot of lunges, the next day if someone grabs the top of your thigh and you go, ah, that, that's it, that's the quad here, okay, these are very big muscle group, uh, but when they get sore, Oh boy, they do get sore. So we are going to work our way from the top to the bottom. We're going to start standing. Now because the camera is very low, so I imagine you guys should be able to see my leg. Find a comfortable place where you can put, use a wall or a table for balance. Because this first one requires you to be on one leg, be standing on one leg. Stand on, the, uh, with, on your left foot, holding on to whatever you're using to uh, balance yourself with, and bring your right foot up toward your butt, and reach down, grab your right ankle, and pull your right foot toward your butt while pushing your hip forward. You'll feel a stretch going all the way from your quad to your pelvis and uh, groin area. Okay, the more you push your hip forward, the more of a stretch you'll get. And you want to hold this pose for 15 to 30 seconds. We'll do 15 so we don't have to be here all night. Uh, so remember to breathe while you're doing this. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. Normally, you want to do three sets after you put your foot down, rest a little bit, shake it out. Now we want to do the other leg. So now we stand on our right foot, bring our left foot toward our butt, grab the ankle with our left hand, and push the pelvis forward, and pulling the foot up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, and five. Now normally we would go right back to the right leg, like I said, you want to do three sets, uh, but because of the 
it, we are on video, I'm not going to go through all three sets. Wait, wait, so so uh, we can save some time. We're going to go right into the second stretch. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart or a little bit wider. Go into a back lunge with your right foot. So step back a big step with your right foot. Slowly drop your right knee onto the ground. And then reach back and put your right hand on your right ankle. So now my right knee is on the ground, my left foot is on the ground, my right hand is holding my right ankle behind me, and I'm going to just push my pelvis forward, and there is that stretch. Push your pelvis forward if you don't feel the stretch. And then we do 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Two, three, four, and five, and slowly come out of your stretch. Now, we switch side. Stand up with your feet shoulder width apart or a little bit wider. Step back with your left foot. Drop your left knee carefully to the ground. Lean back, put your left hand on your left ankle and then push your pelvis forward and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four and five and slowly come out of your stretch Moving on, the third one uh, is actually my favorite of the quad stretches. Lay down on your side. We're going to lay down on our left side. Prop your head on the pillow or just prop your head on your left hand. Okay, nice and comfortable, like, like you're just laying on the floor on your side watching TV. Bring your right leg, which is your top leg, up off, the, off your bottom leg. Hold your heel toward your butt. And then reach down, grab your ankle, and pull your heel toward your behind with your right hand. Again, push your pelvis forward for a better stretch. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, and five. And then we roll over to lay on our right side. Let's do the other side. Lay on your right side, prop up, prop your head up. Bring your left leg off your bottom leg. So lift your top leg up, reach down, grab your ankle, pull your heel in towards your butt, push your head and pelvis forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. For the next stretch, you'll need a resistant band, or if you don't have a resistant band, use a towel. What you will want to do is, we're going to put the resistant band over my right foot. And then I'm going to lay down on my front, lay down on my belly, on the floor. So the resistant band is looped over my right foot and the other end is coming over my right shoulder so I can reach over and grab it with my hand. So I ha all I have to do is pull the band forward and that will pull my right foot toward my butt and this will stretch out your quad as well. 
while you're laying on your belly. So we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, while I awkwardly wiggle around, we'll switch the band to the other leg, to our left leg. And then go back, lay on our belly, pull the band over our shoulder, then pull our leg toward our left foot, toward our butt. And then add some tension to the band. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we come to the last stretch. This is the one that I myself am dreading because I am really, really bad with this one. Uh, so full disclosure first, this is not going to look very graceful. Okay, this is not going to look very comfortable because I'm not good at this one. This is called the frog pose. A kitten is the one that always trying to get me to do this she's so good at it but i find it so difficult and it's just not comfortable for me so if you can't do it uh, don't beat yourself up about oh, oh, oh beat yourself up about it some people can some people can't okay if you can't do it then do the previous four it's okay but what is the frog pose let's see if i can actually get this done Lay down on your stomach and prop yourself up on your elbow, almost like you're getting ready to go into a plank, okay? but you're still down on your belly. Now, bring both heel back toward your butt, bend your knees, bring your feet toward the ceiling. And now here's the hard part, reach back and grab your ankles with your hand. Oh, Okay, oh. now, if you get this far, congratulations, uh, you're still pretty flexible. Now, after you grab onto your ankles with your hand, you will already be feeling a stretch on both legs. Now, put some tension in your leg and lift your upper body off the floor so your lower body and belly should be the only thing touching the floor okay remember to breathe and we'll hold for 15 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, and slowly oh, let go. Oh, yeah. I hate that one. <laughs> but that's the frog pose. It's a great stretch if you can do it. Really, it will stretch out your shoulders, stretch out your chest, stretch out your back, stretch out your quad, and everything. Yeah. But getting there can be very difficult for some people, especially if you are big and chunky like me. <laughs> so, there you go. Five ways to stretch out your quad. Hope this helped, and uh, I'll be back again tomorrow for some Survival Saturday goodies. Don't forget, this Sunday, I'll be selling some of my artwork at the Vancouver BMO Art Theater at 162 West 1st Avenue. I'll be there between 1 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. So if you have been wanting to check out and purchase some exclusive Johnny Tiger artwork, come and say hi. Okay, see you guys there.